This is Nate with Phoenix Project Management with a quick video to show you how to use activity codes to organize your projects in Phoenix Project Manager. As schedules get larger, you'll find that they can be easier to follow if they're broken into smaller sections, and that's what activity codes do for you. To get started, go to Info, then Code Library in the toolbar. The Activity Code Library is where you can manage your activity codes and the values that can be assigned for each code. By default, every Phoenix project starts with a few commonly used codes, with placeholder values under each. You can easily add or delete additional codes, depending on how many you need. For this example, we'll just be using the Project, Phase, and Responsibility codes. To edit the values for a particular code, expand it, and then double-click a value, or select the value and press Edit. This will enable you to change the value. You can also select and delete any values you no longer need, or add additional ones. You can add as many values as you like, and I'll show you in a minute how to add new values on the fly via the Activity Code toolbar if you happen to forget one. We'll save the Responsibility Code values for later and click OK to save our changes. First, select the activities that you want to code, in this case with the Requirements value for the Phase Code. Open the Activity Code toolbar by clicking the icon in the menu bar. Find the Phase Code and select Requirements. The selected activities have been coded. To enable organization by the phase code, click the checkbox next to phase in the activity code toolbar. Now you should see the selected activities display requirements, while the remainder show no value assigned. Now, just repeat the process, coding each activity with the appropriate value for the phase code. If you find that you've miscoded an activity, just reselect it and choose the appropriate value from the phase code in the activity code toolbar. With the phase coding complete, you can see the schedule is now broken into five sections, one for each value under the phase code. Next, we can add another layer to the organization by coding and organizing by the responsibility code. Click the checkbox to enable the responsibility code and select the first group of activities that you want to code. Now, because we did not change the default values for this code in the code library, we'll want to add new values as we go, rather than reopening the library for each new addition. So you can click in the Responsibility Value box and type a new value. When you hit Enter, the value will be saved and the activity will be coded with the new value. You can then repeat this for the rest of the activities. If you have any activities that should not have any value for a particular code, you can either leave them unassigned or select the special None value under that code. If you want to change the appearance of the Organization bands, you can do this by going to Format and then Organization in the toolbar. From here you can change the fonts, the size, and the background color of each organization band. You can also change the order in which codes are applied to the schedule organization. That means if you'd rather have your schedule broken up by responsibility first, then phase, it's as easy as changing their order in this window. Alternatively, if you just want to see one code without worrying about the others, you can disable or re-enable organization by any code by clicking the checkbox next to it in the activity code toolbar or in the format organization window. If you want to change the order in which values appear underneath the code, you will have to revisit the code library. From there, you can select a value and then click Move Up or Move Down to change the order it appears in relation to other values. Be sure to click OK to save your changes when you're done. You now have the tools to organize all of your schedules and make them more easily understandable for everybody on your project team. To contact Phoenix or to download a free trial of Phoenix Project Manager, please visit our website at www.phoenixcpm.com.